Well, yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Big Four Sports Podcast. Happy Friday! Uh, today is buy or sell day. Uh, I've done it. I've done it a couple of times on this um, on this podcast. That it is where I go, you know, onto websites, you know, usually like Reddit or like I don't know, just wherever I can find some like hot takes about a league, and I will buy them, agree with them, or sell them, disagree. I've done, I'm, like I said, I've done this a couple of times. I did two with the MLB and one for the NFL. So, uh, yeah, that that will that will be that. And uh, now, now before I get into the scorching hot takes, uh, yes, I do indeed play tackle football. I play like not soccer football, the real football, American football. And uh, yeah, so I've been suggested by a bunch of my teammates to. You know, do a quick scouting report on them. You know, just 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 really just go just go down the roster, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's gonna be right now, and then after that, we'll get into all the hot takes. Also, we're gonna be talking about the Red Sox today. We're gonna be recapping their uh, lost series to the Washington Nationals, and we're gonna be be, be uh, previewing their series against the New York Yankees. So let's get it going. Um. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the list here that I have built. I've built a list of all the guys on my team. I'm gonna go with me last because that's what you always do. And uh, yeah, let's get started. We're gonna start it off with uh, my, with uh, Noah, our running back. Let me tell you, th- this kid's fast, and man, is this guy jacked. Okay, I mean, this kid's this kid. E- even though he's on the even though he's on the shorter side of things, he's. He's he's still pretty big and he's fast and plays running back well. So, and then we'll do, we'll do, I'm just, I'm like I said I'm going down the line. I'm not going to do too much stuff. Like I'm not I'm like I'm I'm not going to go too, like I'm like I'm like I'm I'm not going to spend like five minutes on one guy. But uh, we got Taylor, our quarterback. Now he sh- I mean he he could he could play anywhere if he felt like it. I mean this guy. I mean, this guy's pretty. This guy's pretty fast. He throw, he throws a great football. You know, he 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 makes one handed catches in practice that just look ridiculous. Uh, he can he he plays he played some DNs last year. He did it well. He played linebacker last year, I think, like once or twice, and did it well. He played like corner once and got a pick. I mean, he, this guy can play anywhere and he'll play it well. So yeah, that's a. Uh, that's Taylor for you. Up next, we have Johnny, who really just kept re- kept re- requesting this. Uh, Johnny's Johnny is our running back. He can also play like uh, he can also play other positions. I think. By the way, I'm gonna be listing some of these guys as utility. That's nothing bad. U- utility, technically in sports terms, is just is just a guy that like plays a bunch of positions because our coach. He 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 really does like to move us around positions. Like one day you'll be put, like one day I'll be playing uh, left guard, and the other day I'll be playing safety. So yeah, it's 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 very weird, but uh yeah, but the 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 guys that I put down as like running back QB, I know that they play those positions, and they're there to stay. So Johnny, our running back, again, strong kid, runs hard and does it well. Zeph again, another running back. He's currently on vacation right now, so we even had him for the first part of training camp. Oh, uh, but yeah, he's also a running back. Again, he's he's he is on the shorter side, but he runs hard. He's strong and and he and he plays running back well. Colby and we have our kit. We have a our guy Colby. Utility, maybe maybe QB. So we do something uh in our league which is like A team and B team. So A team is for the 8th graders and B teams for the 7th graders. Uh Colby may play like B team QB and like you know A team, I don't know, just be a just be a just be a like a utility guy. Who knows, but yeah. I, so I still have to put Colby down here. We have Robert. Uh I don't I don't know much about him. Like he just I think he just joined like at the beginning of training camp, so I don't know much about him. I put him down as utility. He's been playing a lot of uh wide receiver. So I I could have put him down as that, but I just put him down as utility cuz I mean he could probably play anywhere if he felt like it. We have Caden our center. At least I think he's going to play center. I don't know. He's He's built like a center, and he's been playing a lot of center during training camp, during like when we've just been running plays and whatnot. So yeah, we have uh, CJ, our tight end. 
utility, I think. I, I, I think this guy's been playing. I, I think I think he's gonna play tight ends. But I, I've I've seen I've I've seen him play a lot of tight ends, so I I just put him out as a tight end slash utility. Uh Jack utility. I mean I he I, I see this guy play like running back one day and then like you know, wide receiver the other day, you know. I mean Jack so apparently he fumbled four times on one play last year. That is absolutely absurd, I think. But uh yeah, so that guy will never hear the end. We have Malachi, uh O lineman. Let me tell you, this this kid is big. I think he I think he's like six one. Like he like he's my dad's height and he's he's big. And he and he plays the offensive line well. Absolute truck. Uh Harrison, one of my good friends. Uh, he's also an offensive lineman. Again, just plays it well. He's a, I think Har- Harrison's a very simple player. Very simple, but gets the job done. Uh, we have our Brady, a great name, our wide receiver. Uh, yeah, he, he he needs a bit of work on his deep ball, but he he, he catches like 95% of things thrown at him. So yeah, I, I'd, I'd say Brady's a great wide receiver. We have Alex. I don't He, he just joined, but I somehow know a bit more about him. D end and tight end. I think that's what he told me. Slash utility. Alex, I don't know I don't know much about him other than he throws a football like Tua Tugavailoa. He's a lefty. Uh but yeah that's that's really all I know about him other than he plays D end and tight ends and does it well. Ethan utility. Don't know much about this guy. Uh he just he just joined us during training camp. I think he's new to football, so I don't know what position he plays and I don't know much about him. We have Charlie, our offensive lineman. Again, just plays it well. Very simple player, just but just play plays the offensive line well. And uh yeah, lastly you have me. Again, we are we are a bit short on people here, but I mean we're 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 still trying to get guys, you know, I think we have some new people joining us that I just don't know about. Uh so maybe I'll do another one of these at the start of the season, but who knows. Then you have me. Tight end, D end utility. Again, coach Likes to move me around a lot. Like I said, one day I'll be playing, you know, left guard. The next day I'll be playing, like, D end and then safety. I want to play tight end, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Honestly, it's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm certainly a defensive first player anyway. Well, that's that, that's my that's my 2023 football roster for you. Um, maybe, I'll do, maybe I'll do another one of these when we have our, like, full roster. Like, at the start of the season, but... but this is what we have right now, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's get into buy, buying or selling hot takes. We're going to start off with the NFL. Uh, so I, I I think this is uh, this is by Yahoo Sports. Um, all right, let's start off with hot take number one. The Texans will win seven games. You already know I'm going to buy this. Again, with D'Amico Ryan playing, um, or... Being their uh, defensive coordinator, this Texans defense is going to be way better than it was, and I and I think their offense will be able to give them point support. But that team just is. You have CJ Stroud, who I think is going to develop, going to develop quite nicely. He doesn't have much receivers to throw to, and the defense still has a little bit to be desired. It's going to be much better, but I I don't I don't think they're like this like playoff team yet. I think they can win seven games absolutely. Okay. Um, number two. Uh, number two. The Chicago Bears will pick twice in the top ten. Oh, I gotta read something about this. Okay. Yeah, yeah I I got it now. They're really saying that the Bears are gonna improve, but not enough to get out of the top ten. I'm gonna buy this. Actually, I know a lot of people want to be high on the Chicago Bears. I do, but I can't. I'm, they definitely upgraded their defense. Their defense looks much better, and they are definitely going to improve. People are calling them like ten win, like ten wins. Justin Fields again. He's not a great passer, but that's why they brought in DJ Moore. I, I, I he's going to progress as a passer. I don't think he'll be at. I, don't, I still don't think he'll be a great passer at all. But he's definitely going to improve at it. I think they win. Um, I think they win four more games. Then last year, boosting them seven and ten, which will still land them a top ten draft pick. All right, next next hot take: Chris Olave fin- finishes top three in offensive player of the year voting. 
Oh man, this is this is tough. I mean, yes, Chris Olave has a new a, a new quarterback in Derek Carr, but it's probably gonna be like Devontae Adams, Justin Jefferson, and like Cooper Cup. I don't. It's very tough. But you know what? I I want to be on the right end of the Chris Olave takes. So so sure, I'll I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Why not? All right, take number four. Desmond Ritter gets benched. Uh, we've been buying all these, but I think this is the first time we're gonna sell. Who's really gonna who's who's gonna take over? Like if Desmond Ritter gets benched, you're gonna have just a it, it's gonna keep getting worse and worse. I think you gotta give the guy a chance with with how much you did this offseason and how how much better your team's gonna be be this year. So I mean, yeah, I I think I I think that I'm probably gonna I'm gonna sell this one. But, uh, yeah. All right. All right. Take number five. Two assigns, two assigns an extension before Joe Burrow. Oh, man. I feel like the Dolphins might be a bit skeptical to extend this guy. Hold on. Let me just check if they have they even signed extensions yet, because I don't know when this was made. Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm just looking something up. Twenty twenty. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are they are definitely up to date with this. Tua signs an extension before Joe Burrow. I mean, I think the Dolphins. If Tua plays good, then yeah, they're absolutely gonna extend him before Joe Burrow. But that's definitely out of the question. They may try to get Joe Burrow on 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 an extension, like like before the trade deadline. So I mean, maybe. But like, I I I'm gonna sell this one. I think the Bengals are gonna be way faster to getting Joe Burrow. Because Joe Burrow's their franchise guy, and Joe Burrow wants to come back, so I think it just get, I think it's just gonna be made quicker. All right, oh my God, easy sell right here. The Bronco, the, the the take is the Broncos win the AFC East. I mean AFC West. Sorry, uh, yeah, Broncos win the AFC West. That's a hard sell. The Broncos are gonna finish in second. I think. I think Russell Wilson's gonna take a massive step forward this year. But yeah, no, I don't. I I I think Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and Andy Reid will be able to win that division again. All right, number seven, Lamar Jackson throws for four thousand yards and wins NFL MVP. I definitely think that Lamar Jackson might. I I don't actually know. I take that back. I'm gonna sell both these. These are this is like a this is like a two part take. I don't think he wins NFL MVP. I think that goes to Joe Burrow. Or Patrick Mahomes, and I also and Lamar Jackson absolutely. I I think I think he sucks as a passer. And besides, I mean, people are saying like Lamar's going to go off because he has Odell. I mean, his hamstrings are are literally held together by peanut butter. So I mean, it's it's very it's very tough. I I definitely don't think Lamar is going to throw for four thousand yards. He just doesn't have the weapons to throw for four thousand yards. And besides, even if this guy like overthrows and underthrows. He's very inconsistent as a passer, which is why I don't think he'll throw for 4,000 yards. Oh, here we go. Justin Fields becomes the first ever Chicago Bear to to ever throw for 4,000 yards. Man, no one has ever thrown for 4,000 yards. That is absurd. Uh, I'm going to sell it. Again, Justin Fields is just not a good passer, like, at all. I know he's going to bring, they're going to bring in DJ Moore, which will definitely add some improvement, but he has so many question marks throwing the football. He's he's not as accurate. He he has the arm. Again, he's just not as accurate. So so yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna have to sell this one. I think maybe next year when Justin Fields continues to like develop, it definitely further on. Yes, I think he can, but I, I but I I definitely don't think that uh that Justin Fields will throw for four thousand yards this year. Okay. Rams end up with a top eight draft pick. I'll buy this. I'll buy this. Sure, absolutely. Sure, I will absolutely buy that. Why not? Um, I know the I know the Rams have talented players like you know Cooper Cup and Aaron Donald, but who's going to throw Cooper Cup the football? And other than Aaron Donald and that defense, who else do they really have like as like names that stand out 
probably nobody. I'm sure people want the Rams to, you know, take a step forward from last year because they just won the Super Bowl two years ago. That is very hard to believe. I do not know how they won the Super Bowl like two years ago. And therefore, and I mean, like last year they were a dumpster fire. This year, I think I, this year, I think they'll be a little bit better, but they're still going to end up with a top eight draft pick. I'm buying that one. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Trey Lance starts games, but not for the 49ers. Oh, man. You see, I think... I feel like, uh, you know, they would definitely... Um, hold on, what, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 49ers, I think, are going to start Brock Purdy, you know, for the start of the season. And Trey Lance still has a bunch of trade value. So I think I think if like Brock Purdy shows that he's he's just better, I I think the Trey Lance I think the Trey Lance could could probably get I think Trey Lance absolutely gets moved this year if Trey Lance just doesn't play good at all. So uh, yeah, that will be that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna move on to my next set of hot takes. We're gonna do five more, and uh, yeah, we're gonna. And uh, we'll move on to the NBA. Yeah, yeah. We're going to move on to the NBA. Okay. So, yeah, back to your Trey Lance take. Um, I feel like, yes, but I feel like he could get moved at the trade deadline. Like, if Brock Purdy just shows that he's good and Trey Lance doesn't have, doesn't really have a part, part on this team, I think that, um, yeah, I think Trey Lance gets moved. Okay, let's move on. All right. The... This is by uh this is by or a uh, guys at uh Vikings territory. I think that's I think, yeah, yeah, that's it. But they put out some hot takes for us. Uh the Jacksonville Jaguars snag a top two seed in the AFC. As much as I wanna buy this, I can't. Sorry, I'm tired. I just woke up. Um uh, the Jags snag a top two seed in the AFC. That's a sell for me. I think that's gonna be the Chiefs and the Bengals consensus one and two. I want I want to buy that take so bad, but I just cannot. Uh, the the Jags again. They're gonna. I think they're gonna win eleven games this year, but I don't think that's gonna equate to a top two for a top two seed. All right, next. Sean Payton wins Coach of the Year. I'll buy that. Sure, why not? I I I could I I think that I could probably buy that. I think you know Sean Payton is gonna. I think if Sean Payton wants to impress the voters, I think that he has to, you know, I think he I think he needs to lead the Denver Broncos to like a like around a ten win season. So uh yeah, I think that I think that Sean Payton could totally win coach of the year. But uh yeah, that's that's that. Alright. Moving down moving down the line here, um Number three, David Montgomery leads the league in rushing. <sighs> that is a hard, hard sell. All right, I mean, I'm I'm sorry, but like, I mean, he, he's gonna be splitting carries with uh, Jameer Gibbs, and whenever you split carries with someone else that is like as good as that is like as good as Jameer Gibbs, I, it usually does not like equate to I think to lead the league in rushing you gotta have like at least a thousand yards, maybe like a thousand two hundred. And if you're gonna be splitting, you know, playing time with somebody, I definitely don't think that you're gonna be um that you're gonna that uh what's it called that that you're gonna be leading the league in rushing as probably a backup. Okay, number four. The Carolina Panthers win the NFC cell. I love this take. I think anybody that says that, I wouldn't, I would not blame you for for saying it. I would not blame you for buying it because the Panthers have such a good coaching staff. Now. I mean, like they they put their they put their time and effort into drafting well and making a good coaching staff around Bryce. So I totally think why people would say this, but I think the Saints are just a better team. Uh, this Panthers team still has some ways to go on developing. So. So yeah, Panthers win the NFC South. That's a that's a that's a sell, but put like the smallest sell that you can on there. Okay, number five, Tua Tagovailoa leads the league in passing yards. 
This one's tough because, I mean, on one hand, Tua Tagovailoa plays, like, he has a great offense to work around, especially with, uh, with like, uh, Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle. You lost Mike Kosicki, but that's not that bad at all. I think I know why people would say that, but I'm going to have to sell. I think, that, I think that title will go to Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow has better weapons, and he's just a better player. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for the NFL hot takes. Let's move to the NBA hot takes. All right, this one comes from our. This one comes from uh, reset era. It might be reset era. Who knows? But um, all right, this one, this one. Uh, I don't know who this comes from. I'm not gonna be, you know, reading off like what their what the names are. These takes. I'm just gonna say them. Denver is the new dynasty. Buy buy this. I think that. Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, if as long as they're together, they're gonna win plenty more championships. Therefore, Denver is probably gonna turn into a dynasty. Okay. All right, next one: the Indiana Pacers. Sorry, the Indiana Pacers are gonna go to the second round. I don't know if they'll even make the playoffs. Hold on, I, I gotta sneeze real quick. No, oh, never mind. Just disappeared for me. Okay. Pacers are going to the second round. That's a sell. I don't even think they'll make the playoffs. But, uh, yeah. I don't think that roster is good enough. I know Tyrese Halliburton showed out and he played great. But that's really it. Miles Turner, I think, could get moved at the deadline. But, uh, yeah. All right. I really like this one. One of one of Embiid, LeBron, Luca, or Zion has a different jersey on opening day next season. Oh my God! I want to sell it, but I cannot. I, I, I have to buy it. I think Zion could totally get moved, like this year. I don't think LeBron gets moved. I don't think. I think Embiid could get moved. I don't think Luca goes anywhere. But Zion is the easiest candidate to get moved out of these four. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna buy this. I th- I still think Zion gets moved sometime during training camp. Maybe who knows? All right, next up, the Pelicans are gonna make the NBA Finals. I'm sure people, I'm I'm sure the people, I'm sure people like wanna you know buy this because the Pelicans are are a fun team. They're a fun team to watch. But if Zion gets moved, Zion doesn't even play, so it, it it doesn't matter if he gets moved or not. Let's look at the roster outside of him. I mean, Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, a solid bench. I don't. I still think there's a bunch of better teams, and especially with a in a playing in a loaded a oh in a loaded Western Conference, I think they could totally make the playoffs. But I don't think that they'll make the NBA Finals, especially in a like I said, a loaded Western Conference. Um. Um, all right, here we go. We got a list of hot takes here. Zion gets traded. Absolutely buy this. Zion Williamson is absolutely going to get traded at some point this season. The Pelicans have said they want to move on from him. Zion just cannot stay healthy. He's played in like, he's only played in like a hundred games out of like five years. That's not good stuff. But, uh, yep, yeah, all right, let's move on to our next take. The in-season tournament absolutely flops. It just doesn't do good. Flops like LeBron. Honestly, it could. I think that could happen, but... But at the same time, I mean... I don't know, we'll have to see. This is a really hard take. So, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna sell it. Because I think, you know, first time, I think it's gonna get a lot. A lot of, like, good... St- a, a lot of, like, good good reviews and stuff, so yeah. In-season tournament flops. I'm going to sell it. Alright, LeBron plays less than 50 games and is ineligible for all NBA lists. I mean, LeBron is old. He's definitely on the old side of things. I think his durability has gone down. So, I mean, so sure, I'll buy it. Why not? I don't think LeBron is going to... I think LeBron's on the older side. His durability's gone down. He he's probably gonna get injured. I mean, he I, I think he might get injured this year. So yeah, I I I think I can buy that. Jordan Poole gets traded at the trade deadline. I'm gonna sell. 
I think uh, Jordan Poole just got there with the Washington Wizards, and especially with uh, the Wizards saying they want to build around Jordan Poole. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think he gets traded. Um. Okay, this one I I I think we are. I everybody knows what I'm gonna do with this one. The Chicago Bulls make the playoffs. Sell, 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 sell. Okay, come on though. The Bulls have a way more. Have they? The Bulls have way more of a probability, like a chance, of just blowing it up completely. And that's what I want the Bulls to do because their roster is not good at all. I mean, the Chicago Bulls, they're, 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 they are just going to, I feel like they're just going to blow it up. Like at the trade deadline, they're going to just mortgage everybody and just try to get like good young talent back for them. Okay. Wemby gets hurt while adjusting to the NBA and the Spurs miss the playoffs. I don't think Wemby gets hurt. I think the Spurs make. I think the Spurs will miss the playoffs. So, yes, I mean I'm sure the the um, the Spurs have a great young team, but I just think again they're too young. It's a, it's 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 really just like a daycare over there. So yeah, I think I think that I think they'll just sell. No, I mean I'm gonna sell the stake. I think they missed the playoffs. Chet wins Rookie of the Year and Comeback Player of the Year. I think he could win. I think uh, no. I I think Rookie of the Year is going to go to Wemby. He definitely. I don't. The Comeback Player of the Year award. I think is just silly. I you can never predict who's going to win it. So sure, I'll I'll buy him. I'll buy him winning the Comeback Player of the Year. When I'm going to sell Chet winning the Rookie of the Year. Okay, Knicks make the playoffs and then lose in the finals. Uh, sell. I don't think they make it to the final. I think they make the playoffs. I don't think they make it to the final, so. Alright. Alright. This one's interesting. Kawhi and Ka- Kawhi Leonard and, and PG will finally be healthy all season and the Clippers win the West, so. Even if they are healthy, I don't think that they they win that uh that they win that conference that's going to that's going to go to Denver. I mean there again there's so much better teams than the Clippers in the Western Conference and I think that's a sell. Okay. All right. We got five more takes up here. Uh the Magic will be a top 5 seed in the East with Paolo and with with Paolo and Franz leading the way. I I I don't think they're a top five seed. I think they make the playoffs. I don't think they're a top five seed though. So sell. Okay. Um. Franz Franz Wagner, he plays for the Magic. He become be, becomes a first time All Star, averaging twenty one points per game. I'm gonna buy this. Franz Wagner, such a criminally underrated player, and I think he could absolutely, you know. I think he could absolutely average 21 points per game. All right, here we go. Despite what has happened in summer league, Star Thompson becomes a bust and gets a Ben Simmons treatment. I'm going to sell. Again, I think Star Thompson is just too good not to bust. There's definitely a chance of him busting, but I don't think he's going to be like Ben Simmons-esque bust. Okay. Darvin Ham wins coach of the year. I don't even know who Darvin Ham is. Let's look him up. Darvin. Oh, he plays. For, he's a he's a Lakers head coach. Yeah, no, I I think I think that's gonna be a sell. Honestly, I can't I can't see. I just, I don't I don't even know who's gonna win coach of the year. So again, it's such a hard award to predict. But I mean, at the same time, I also don't I don't want to be on the wrong side of these. I know I said sell earlier, but now I'm thinking it, so sure, I'll buy it, whatever. The Kings disappoint and become an 11 seed and miss the play-in. That's a sell. The the Kings were, again, they, they surprised a bunch of people, making it to the 3 seed. Again, I think they, they've had a they've had a solid offseason so far, and, the, and, and I think that roster is so much better than it was last year. There's no way they disappoint. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to our next league. We're going to be going to the NHL, and then we'll go to the MLB. Okay. Uh, first take. Hold on, i got to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, 
All right. Oh, we're, we're doing great on time. Okay. Hold on. Let me find it. Another rookie will have a better season than Connor Bedard. Well, okay. I'm, I, this could totally happen, but I think, uh, cause Bedard doesn't have much of a, like, supporting cast around him. Like, as much as, like, you know, a bunch of the other rookies have, but I think Connor Bedard is the clear cut favorite to win rookie of the year. I think he'll have the best season out of the rookies. All right. Next. Aiden Hill will not be the golden will will not be the Vegas Golden Knights starting goalie by the by the end of the season. Um. By the way, I'm gonna sell that last take about Bedard. Um. I feel like the Vegas Golden Knights are doing like like kind of a strategy. I mean, the the Golden Knights are stacked on goaltenders like Robin Leonard, Logan Thompson. I don't even know if Aiden Hill's gonna start. He had he had a great postseason, but I mean. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think Aiden Hill will be the starter. I, I think I'm going to buy this one. Bold take. Devi, Devion Levi wins, wins, wins the Calder. There's absolutely no way this happens. The last time that a goalie won the Calder was a long time ago. So, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to happen again. I don't even know if it's ever happened. All right. Huberto. Jonathan Huberto rebounds back and gets 85 plus points. I'll buy that. Sure, whatever. Jonathan Huberto is too good to be as bad as he was last year. I think we could totally see a bounce back season of him and getting 85 plus points. Yeah, absolutely. Line A will pot 50. I think what he means by that is pot 50 goals. I love Patrick Laine. I've always been a huge fan of him, but I got to sell. I think they play on the Columbus Blue Jackets, and they they just were not that good. So I mean, I I it, fifty goals is also very very hard to get to, like that like that like that takes like a really really good season. So yeah, I don't I don't think Laine is will pot fifty. All right. Oh, here we go. Someone not named Connor McDavid or Leon Dreisaitl will win the MVP. Mm. I don't know who else will win the MVP, though. Like, if it's not going to be McDavid, who is it going to be? David Pasternak? I mean, who knows? I, I'm, I'm going to have to sell this one. I mean, that's just... That's, that, 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 that's, that's definitely as bold as it gets. Uh, what's next? Right here. Okay, this this one this one's a two parter. The Detroit Red Wings will be a will be a bottom five team in hockey, and the Buffalo Sabers will be a top five team in hockey. I don't think the Sabers are a top five team in hockey. That's there's no way. And the the Detroit Red Wings being a bottom five team in hockey, I gotta see who's even on the Red Wings roster. Oh, no way. They have uh, Alex Dabrinkin now. I don't know how that happens. Dylan Larkin, I mean... Yeah, no, that team's not that good. So, yeah, sell. I'm going to sell that... Well, actually, no, I'm going to buy that the Red Wings are a bottom five team. I'm going to sell this that the Buffalo Sabres are a top five team. Okay. This one is a... This one's a sell. I already know it. Dylan Larkin gets 100 points. That's a sell. He plays on the Red Wings. He doesn't have much of a supporting cast. There's absolutely no way. There's absolutely no way that he gets 100 points. That's like a that's you're you're, say, you're telling me that's like a that's like a that's probably like a 60 40 season, 60 goals, 40 assists. Absolutely no way Dylan Larkin's going to do that. Dylan Larkin, I think, could have a great season, but definitely not like a 60 40 or a 50 50. Devils win the Stanley Cup, so again the the Devils are definitely on the right path with Jack Hughes, who's an absolute stud. I think he's one of the best players in the league. Um, you know the the roster outside of Jack Hughes really is not that great. Uh, so yeah, I don't think the Devils win the cup. I think in the future they could win the Stanley Cup, but I don't think it's going to be this year. Oilers finished last in the Pacific. 
Um, okay, during the... I see why people might buy this, because the Oilers goaltending sucks. Like, like when I say sucks, I truly mean it. But, I mean, the roster outside of the goaltending is just too good not to finish last. And they usually have... They, they've made the postseason the past, like, three, four years. So, yeah, Oilers finished in last place. That, in the Pacific, that's a sell. Someone will hit 70 goals this year. Um, I gotta see if Connor McDavid's already done that, because I feel like he already has. Shouldn't have find, find this guy's stats from last year. Hold on one second. Um, yeah, this guy's only 26. That is just amazing. Okay, 64. Okay, no, he did not actually. He did not reach. Uh, what's it called? He did not reach 70 goals last year. Um, okay, so, you know, I, someone will hit 70 goals. That's really hard to do. I think McDavid could do it. I think David Pasternak could do it. But I'm going to have to sell it. I want to be on the safer side of things. That's just a very, very hard thing to do. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell it. All right, we're almost done here. Hold on, what the? Oh, wow, what the? Hold on, guys, one second. My, my computer just started passing out. Ovechkin only scores 20 goals or less this year. How how old is Alex Ovechkin? Because that'll, that'll, de that'll determine this. Alex. He's 37. I'm going to sell it, though. Oh, Alex Ovechkin, we always question his age, and he just still does crazy stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to sell that Alex Ovechkin doesn't score more than 20 goals. I think he he scored. I think he scores more like 40. I mean, again, he's still out. He's still Alex Ovechkin. So yeah, this one. I mean, this is this is his. I'm gonna sell this one. Uh, the Colorado Avalanche will miss the playoffs. That roster is just too good, and, and especially their goaltending. Their goaltending is is just as solid as it gets. Nathan McKinnon, Miko Rantanen, I mean, uh, Kale McCarr, like this, like the Avalanche have some of the best players on that team. Maybe this guy is trying to go for like a loaded roster, but disappoints, like a San Diego Padres impression. But no, Colorado, the Colorado Avalanche won't miss the playoffs. And that is it. All right, that's it for the NHL hot takes. Let's move on to, uh, what's called the MLB. But first, we're going to talk about the Red Sox. Uh, before we get into that, so the Red Sox uh, lost their series against the Washington Nationals. Now, the Washington Nationals were actually a great team coming into the series. I know their their record doesn't show it, but the the Nationals were like 16-6 and six in their last 24 coming into the series against the Red Sox. So yeah, that's... The, the Nationals are definitely a good young team, and I mean, they... They brought their A game coming 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 into the series. There's re there's really no stopping that. Okay, uh, preview of the Red Sox Yankees series. The Yankees are a dumpster fire. Uh, we already know that. The, the just the Yankees are just so bad this year. They had like they were like projected to be like a hundred win team this year. I thought they could win even more than that because Aaron Judge got off to an even better start than last year. Garrett Cole is like looks like a consensus Cy Young right now. So yeah, I think the Red Sox can can sweep the Yankees. The Yankees are just bad, and the Red Sox are already five and one against them this season. And I know it's in New York, that's going to make it a lot harder to sweep them. But I think it can happen. So yeah, the Yankees Red Sox series. I'm sure I'll be I'm sure I'll be watching it on Apple TV tonight. Not a sponsor, but uh, yeah. That that's it for that. Uh let's get into more hot takes and that will and it's gonna be it after this.
set of a uh, hold on shoot no okay first take is Ronald Acuna will not win an MVP and LA Dodger will so if Ronald Acuna continues to steal bases and bat in runs and hit home runs there's absolutely no way he doesn't win MVP and I can't think of many guys on the LA Dodgers that are having an MVP like season Freddie Freeman maybe but I don't I think he finishes behind Matt Olson I think I think the top three MVP race will be Ronald Acuna, Matt Olson, and uh, Freddie Freeman. The Yankees still make a deep run. Playoff samples are are almost all flukes. They just need two bats and two arms to to step up. The Yankees. So I think the moral to take is the Yankees can make a deep playoff run, and that's a sell. The Yankees, I think, have already just given up. Again, they're a dumpster fire. Just a dumpster on fire, just filled with dogs' breakfasts. It's bad over in New York. So uh, yeah, that that that, that that's going to be a sell on the Yankees making the playoffs. Okay, all right, here we go. So Oliver Marmol and John Mo, I don't know how you say Moselak will be fired at the end of the season. Sure, they're not good people. I think, uh, what's his name? I, I know they're both, like, managers, I think, but I just got to look up what team they play for. Oh, yeah, he's St. Louis Cardinals manager. Yeah, no, he's not good at his job. All, Oliver Marmoral, I think, gets fired at the end of this season if the if the Cardinals, like, finish, like, second to last or something like that. The Cardinals are already bad. I think they're already going to miss the playoffs, and that's going to lead to the firing of Oliver Morrell. All right, hold on. Got to wait here. Like the... All right, yeah, hold up, guys. Sorry, my computer's spazzing out again. Okay. Here's the take. Reds will miss the playoffs this year, but make a championship run next year. I think that they, I think they make the playoffs. Um, I think I'm going to sell the part that the Reds missed the playoffs. The Reds have just been such a surprise, and I think they've, they have a good enough record. That if they just keep being like a decent team, they'll make it in as like the final wild card. And yes, I think I do think that they can make a championship run next year if they actually decide on spending money. So yeah, bye. Corey Seager is the best hitter in the league and will have a real case for the MVP if he hadn't been injured for so many games this year. Bye, 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 bye. He's a top ten player in the league. Corey Seager, he he. He mashes. That's just all I'm going to say. This guy can hit for average. He can hit home runs. Yeah, Cor- Corey Seager could be. I think he could make a. I think he could make a case for the best hitter in the, hitter in the league. All right, next take. We're kind of. We're kind of. We're kind of moving through these a little bit, but the Diamondbacks continue continue to struggle and and miss the playoffs, but 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 make an all out push during 2024 free agency. Again, this one's a two-parter, so I'm going to go, like I said, in two parts. The Diamondbacks continue to struggle and miss the playoffs. I'm going to buy that. The Diamondbacks absolutely just collapsed this year. Like They did like a New York Yankees-esque choke job this year. They were like 16 games above 500, and now they're four games under 500. That's ridiculous. So yeah, I think they can, I think they can miss the playoffs. I'll buy that. But make an all-out push in 2024. They're Arizona. I don't really know how they're going to be able to make an all-out push, like spend all their money. I mean, who knows? But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think they'll make an all-out push in twenty twenty-four free agency. I'm going to sell that second part. Okay, Orioles have gassed their bullpen, and they will falter in the playoffs. Their starting pitching might also regress. I'm going to, I don't, I think that the Orioles could actually make a postseason run. The only thing that's really holding them back is playoff experience because that team is just so young. 
uh, and their starting pitching might regress. I could see that. So yeah, I'm going to buy that the fact that their starting pitching might might regress and the Orioles have gassed their bullpen. I wouldn't necessarily gas it. I'd say they've definitely used it more than usual. They Those guys might be tired. I mean, I don't know where to stand on that, so I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. But the Orioles will fall through in the playoffs. I think that's a sell. Um, if they do fall through in the playoffs, it's just because of playoff experience. The Cubs will win their division. Let's let's look at the playoff standings. I think I, I think I already know what I'm gonna do, but. Um, Um, they have a, wow, okay, the, the Cubs actually are, like, doing not that bad, they're 62 and 58, I don't think they catch the Brewers, though, uh, so yeah, that's gonna be a sell, I don't, I don't, I don't think the Cubs roster is just that good, their pitching leaves a lot to be desired, Kyle Hendricks looks, looks like he's throwing batting practice on his recent starts, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to sell. Alright, what's our next take? The Mets will go on a crazy win streak and make a wild card and take it to the World Series and beat the O's in five. There's absolutely no way the New York Mets, the New York Mets, okay, they're going to pull a Mets and choke even if they do make it to the playoffs. But the Mets go on a crazy win streak. Those players have already given up on the season. The Mets are like 17 games below 500. So, yeah, that's a that's going to be a sell. And I don't think the Orioles make the playoffs either. I mean, not, I I think they definitely do make the playoffs. I don't think the O's make it to the World Series. Definitely in the future they win, they make it to the World Series, but the Houston Astros will, will win the AL West after sweeping the Rangers in September. So the Rangers have already built themselves a, the the Rangers have already submitted submitted themselves as one of the, as the best bounce back team in recent in recent memory. And the Rangers go out going out and getting Max Scherzer. I mean that's. This Rangers team looks really, really scary, and I think that the Rangers are going to hold on and win their division, especially if Corey Seager continues to play good. All right. The Angels will will forever regret not trading Shohei Otani at the trade deadline. I mean, honestly, I'm going to sell this. I think that, you know, the... I, like remember what happened with the Boston Red Sox and you know the GM that traded Babe Ruth, he would he will f- like forever regret that. He had like I don't know, but like you know he he probably I'm sure the Angels GM probably doesn't want to be the guy that trades Shohei Otani. You know that that's probably not a, that's not a great label to have. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna sell. Let's see, we got we got one more. Uh, that's it. All right. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. You can go check this out on um, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. And go check out my Instagram, Big Four Sports Podcast. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. All right. Peace.